yes, must get these things to the market, must sell more fruit. They in, they out, moving this lorry up and down the river. Get so damn tired. But one thing I'll say for it, you get to see how a city should be seen. How a city look its best, the skyline. Seeing it from this river, seeing it from a distance. <laughs> no time to stop, no time to rest. Need a rest. It is a shame. No shame, except under those trees. The forest that grew in one night. Keep moving, keep moving. The doctor told me, you need to get more exercise. It will keep you young. <laughs> that thing's gonna keep me young, that's life. Not much exercise sitting in an office, he says. Keep moving. <clears throat> around the city, along the shoreline, those electrical stands, fence posts. Not enough shade under those things anyway, even if I could stop and rest. Not very tall, not very wide, ugly wooden boxes. Men build a city, they think they can build their own cities. Two kilometers a day for a start, he says, for a start. Electric hub every 30 meters, two kilometers by 30 meters, that's a lot, a lot of bloody electric poles. Keep, keep moving. One, two, or three, damn forest. No branches. What good are they without shade? <laughs> but here, those square wooden frames, they're not really poles, I guess. They're more personal, in a way. You can really see the workings, the circuitry, the cords. Four. Am I the only one who sees this? Of course, I guess if you live here, you don't really notice it. Haha, <laughs> look at it, too. A crop of electric trees. I wonder. If someone planted a series of light bulbs along the street, and these are what grew. And here come the gardeners, the hired hands, men climbing up the pole with their tools and their pruning shears. <laughs> Won't catch me climbing up, no sir. I'll just stay here on my boat, motor along. Walking's good enough for me. Seven. First, a copper nose sneaks through the dirt, then to a transponder, until after many years, it's taller than I am. Holy moly! They climb those things fast! And new wires <laughs> bloom each spring? Beautiful in its own way. Ugly thing. Give me an honest tree with branches and no men in them. Children, yes, climbing, having fun. I know, I know, I sound crazy. You're never allowed to forget that you live in a city. Nine. All those guys out there doing their things. No shirt, no gloves. <laughs> Let me swing from the wires before long. What is he doing up there? He's not even wearing a shirt or shoes or gloves. Like, like, that's all. Like a bunch of Edmonds. <laughs> hey, hey, Edman! Bloody idiot making so much noise! Sorry, keep moving. What was I? 10? 12? Damn it! It's not as nature intended it, it's as man intended it. Always as man intended it. I'll just say 12. Too far here. Look at that, they aren't even paying attention. God. He seems intent. I mean, I think he, I, he knows what he's doing. But I still wish you were at least wearing a pair of shoes. Real trees have a purpose. They live for us and we live for them. But me. Thirteen. I should say something to him. But what would I say? I only know two words in Tamil. You're climbing around there up there like an idiot. Don't drop anything on my head. Fourteen. Good luck to them. Still, won't catch me climbing up. No, I should drop my boat. I should say something. Tell him to... These poles are here for the city, not for the people. And we all have our jobs, right? 